Hey everybody, it's Buddy4911, and in the last episode, we weren't here, and we got to a new place, and we did some awesome stuff, and in this episode, we're now back in Regna, Regna, that I can't speak right now, just slow clap, slow clap, anywho, we're back here to help out this person in need, and let's just talk to him. Ho 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 ho! A fresh recruit! Mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, good to have the army starting to grow again. I've been waiting for a bit of help. So, so back, for backbone, you see, I'm a bit of rat. Oh, rat infestation in the farm? Okay. Nothing I can't handle myself, I assure you. But see one of the high benders, so you, could you help a few of them? Come and find it. Bring me back one wedding ring as soon as you find it. Oh, and don't tell my wife. Oh. So. He's just got things like coming after us. And he lost his wife's ring to these guys. So I'm, we're basically just going to keep on going until we find a wife ring. Tell the rats around here and find my wife's ring. Yep. So I'm guessing... Is that the wife's ring? Oh, wedding ring. Hey, you guys. Just leave me alone. I'm trying to help this guy. That was pretty fast, actually. Um, We can do something else, too, then. Woo. Oh, back so soon? That means you found it. Mm-hmm. I found it just for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Don't let it see. Oh. Dot, 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 dot. Dots aren't good. This isn't my ring. This is a washer. Looking for in there. Who stole it? So we gotta keep on finding it. Or just like run all around there. We'll run all around, and I will explain my absence on not being here because I bet some people are wondering that. And it might be an idea to tell you guys what I've been doing. And what that I've been doing is, I've been graduating. Kinda. Almost yet. Almost. And what I mean by that is, I'm almost finished high school. Um, in fact, I have my walk-up tomorrow. Where we do all the formal walk-up stuff and we basically do stuff. And that, and yeah, that's gonna be fun. And that's a washer. And I have a wedding ring. Hmm, that's good. I got washers and red wedding rings, apparently. So let's go see. Is that kill the rat around here to find the ring for me? But I have a wedding ring. I got your wedding ring, sir. It's totally a wedding ring. Well, I guess I. Around and find it. Okay. Either that or I'm just a dumb goof. A dumb goof. There's rats down below. I want to have a feeling that it's down below. Ah. Uh, wait. When does the farm go underground? Like, what the. I want to congratulate this guy for having an underground, like, infestation. Maybe you guys are the ones I need to kill. Ooh, giant rat. That must be the dream of me. Right? You can feel the love of the wedding ring as you hold it. Like, literally, it says. You feel the love growing as you hold it. 
Oh my gosh, we're so in love. But we found the wedding ring. Let's give it back to the guy. He's going to be so happy. Just like me graduating. I'm so happy yet so nervous. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you found it. Thank you. I think I might have gotten in the way with this after all. Blah, blah, blah. Well, thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. I want to go once. But shit, I got some rewards. It's, there are some dangerous monsters there, though. So make sure you're strong enough. Anyway, here's a small reward for helping me out. We got 80 experience points and 20 emeralds. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If I say so myself. As my computer's going like, uh... The weather is killing me. <laughs> it's <coughs> decently warm, and then my laptop is <coughs> running extremely hot. So it's just like, no, I'm not going to perform well as it goes at 26 frames per second. <coughs> right now. <coughs> um, usually, it goes way faster, but I find it funny. <coughs> Someone just wasted a shout out. <coughs> But anywho, something that I did earlier in this episode, which you guys would have seen, would have been I've learned a new spell. Because I am level 12. Soon to be level 13. And that spell allows me to jump and fall. So I'll be able to get... Oh, boy. But yeah, I'm gonna be able to go to places not normally where I'm able to go because now I can be like, hey, you're in the way, you're trying to kill me, now you can't because I'm on this thing here. It's a fun little thing to do. But something I should say, because we got skill points, I want to explain what I'm planning on doing for my, for my, um, for this um, class specifically I'm gonna make it a more damage outputting so I'm gonna put more into strength I'm gonna max out strength actually I'm gonna have a little bit of defense um, if I take up my little my little piece of paper here um, I'm planning on having max uh, for power so max power over here um, gonna have 30 in defense somewhere around there then 20 to 35 agility and then 20 to 25 intelligence and then anything that overflows is going to go into double damage because I'm not expecting for double damage to be a great thing because there's only a chance of me getting that double damage. You know what I mean. Anywho, we should explore more. Because, like, we haven't explored down this side of Ragni. So we're going to do that right now. And in fact, I want to do this because, like, it will open up more things we can do. Might take a little while to do some stuff. But, yeah. Um, actually, let's take a look at the, um, thing. Got underwater. Yes, I believe that is what we want to do. If not, I'm thinking of the wrong quest. Oh, more, more stuff to get. I'm gonna run around and grab some stuff. Because, like, oh, it's nice to run around and grab some stuff. Especially when you're low leveled. When you're low leveled, you kinda wanna get as much stuff as possible. In fact, I'm just gonna be like, eh. Toss those stuff out. And take a look at some of the stuff. Oh yeah, I equipped some stuff that I had on some of my other classes. Um, and the, I have, um, legendary... A legendary helmet, legendary um, pants, and legendary boots, and just a normal leather thing. So yeah, just a little update. I'm still using the same... Oh no, I can use that bow in fact. I can now use a new bow because I'm level 13, which is a big one. So I'm going to say grats. It's 
smiley face. And they're gonna be like, that is a Because he's only level 13. And I'm like, no, I'm not, but I am. I am the one and only noob that can do things and stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna run down. We're gonna collect some stuff in chests. And as you see, this place is now coming to an ocean line. And if you actually adventure further onward that way, you're gonna find a lot of stuff. And the server's restarting in eight minutes. So, goddamn you, server. Why you gotta restart in such small time? Uh, it, it sucks when that happens. You're just kind of like going, doing your own thing, and then all of a sudden, like, you could be doing something, and it's like, now you have to get off, and you're like, I don't want to get off the server, though. I love the server. Skill points. Yes, I know. I'll update them after the um after I've done stuff because like I don't want you guys to be bothered while bogged down in a whole lot of um uh, quests and that because this is mainly just for quests exploring the world um finding secret things and then also um showing what you can do as you level up. Anyways, this is a mango. So let's talk to him. Hi, my name is Amango, a resident of Maltec Village, on top of that hill, which is over there, which we can explore. As you may know, the people came to your land years ago and was lost in a ship crash. Yep. They brought lots of luxurious goods from them, but most of them lost in the crash. But recently, this hole can see beneath opened. Unfortunately, no one is able to explore the hole because it's too deep, and we need to find something to help us go down there and... Um, there is someone that is kind at heart, which is Sayer, which we can just run to because, like, I know exactly where he is. Ah, uh, the moment when there was quests. <laughs> I remember this when there was no quests at all. It was an interesting day. An interesting time. Anywho, over there you see a little boat. As we run down this little beach that we haven't explored, which I should pay more attention to, but I don't care. Because I'm now going to dolphin. Dolphin too far. Uh, dolphin back. See? That spell is so useful. And we get to talk to Sawyer. Just do that. Come on, Sawyer. What are you looking like that? Because I'm small, eh? You know, but yeah, I catch fish twice my size. Okay, um, but you did hop on the boat, on my boat, stranger. Ah, yes, I have a useless breathing helmet. You want it? Well, you see first. I want to buy some Nemrak food. Okay. Um, so what he wants is three pigments meat and one water bottle. So, let. us now dolphin back over to the mainland and I will show you places where you can get your um food supplies for him. Um for the for getting stuff for him, it's pretty easy. You just drink that. You get a glass bottle, you can fill it up with water. You have a water bottle. That's what you need for him. And yes, I know I need to unuse skill points. And then there are two places which I know of from old times that you can get um, meat from, like pig meat or zombie pigment meat, which is just bacon or everything. Uh, this is Maltic. We will explore at a later time, but we're just passing through. We're gonna see that there's a quest over here and that well looks a bit strange. You'll see why later on. And we're just gonna run back in a very short time. It's like if I'm, well, either, yeah, yeah, not short time. It's not gonna be a short time. It's gonna be me talking. But yeah, as you see, 
as I said, there was a new spell that I had. It's called the spider jump on this, but then for the other archer, I forget what it's called, which I'm ashamed of because I am a archer <laughs> in this game. Oh yeah, um, I should also talk about that too. I'll talk about that one points or something like that, which is probably gonna be like never. So I'll keep it all to myself. Actually, I can talk about it as I'm running to this place, as I lag out to. Uh, when you play as different characters, you want to set them up for different um, ways of play. Like, it's mainly up to what people like, how people like playing their characters. But for mine, I usually go for the one that can take hits a lot. So what I have set up my main archer to do is he's maxed out in he's maxed out in um, defense. He's maxed out in agility, and then I put the rest in intelligence. And the reason for doing that is ne then I. That's an interesting cave I need to explore. I haven't seen it yet. But I need... I do that so then I I don't take much damage and I hardly take damage all the time. Because when you max out a skill set, it gives you 75% chance of dodging. But in here, as you see, there's some zombies that we can just kill. I'm totally freaking out right now. I'm not just like freaking. Aw. Oh. Booger. Okay, they're like level 20s. They're like, yeah, we're smart. We own this show. Sweet, I have five. We're good. Now we're going to run back. And we're not going to make it in a minute. And that person just decided to shout something. <laughs> uh, I used to shout too. I'm a part of a cool kids club. Nah. Nah. Everyone's a cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor people. Poor him. He's getting hate. He's getting hate, and the server's gonna restart soon. Uh, I guess this is gonna be the painful uh, log off. Maybe get lots of lag. Log back on. Fun stuff. It is totally fun, trust me. Totally. As something tried to shoot me! God damn it! <laughs> Okay, we're off. Server restarted. Let's try... Nope, that was the one I was on. Let's go on server 6. Already logged in. No, I'm not logged in. I want to go back on here. And I want to run! As I wait for my... Well, my hunger to reload. Weird. I said reload. I don't normally say reload. I usually say regenerate or something. That's reload. That's an interesting way of putting it. A really interesting way of putting it. And okay, we're just gonna run. We're gonna run like madmen, usually all the time. If I had a horse. <laughs> I would be lagging out more. Uh, so much fun. Trust me, it's so much fun when you have horses on here because, like, you think you're cool, but then you realize that you can lag a lot. 
if the servers are not running because instead of making it so that the horses are depending on the human like on the actual players um connection it's actually on the server's connection so you update with the server <laughs> which when they first implemented it oh, you were just lagging you were like eh 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 and you were just like okay i'm going on foot cuz like walking has helped me so many times and no, I'm not going to do it, damn it. <laughs> uh, I sound like a crazy person. Because I'm always crazy. Not as crazy as some people in one graph. And I mean, like, 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 I'm not, like, saying that there's crazy people, like, literal crazy people. Like, I'm pretty sure there's not many crazy people here. Except for me. If someone wants to try and beat me of being crazy, let them go right ahead. Because they wouldn't be able to. I got what you wanted. Yep, I got your food and drink. Just give me the helmet. Great, here's your helmet. Sweet, water breathing helmet. As you see, respiration 3. Doesn't have much defense. It's not going to help you that way. But this respiration helmet. Once you reload, we'll give you a little blue band around your top, and you can actually see underwater. And your bubbles go way slower, as you see, because normal Minecraft enchantments are normal. Anywho, let's run back, and we're gonna run a lot. Oh yeah, something I should have said at the beginning of this episode. If you hear anything that sounds like grinding, not the music, please, no, not the music. <laughs> I'm talking about like metal ship stuff, my dad's working. And now, screw you, I'm going down here and I'm gonna get the stuff that you want me to. And literally, just, you're, you're just gonna like run through this because if you don't, you'll actually start taking damage, and you could lose two health. Egg. Egg. Water. Water. They made it so... In... Like, I feel like they actually left some water stuff. To, like... Extremely annoy the player. And as you see... You can make it through without anything, and then you'll have that quest book update. I would recommend to just keep your head up until that point. Then you're going to go, and you go all the way back. Just run as fast as you can through the water maze. Eh. And make optional noises if you so desire. And he's there. There's the little part where I can go back up. Here we go. Hello. You found a treasure. Yay. He's so happy he gave me treasure boots and... As promised, here's the thing a part of your award. 800 experience points, 32 emeralds, one breathing helmet, one treasure boot. So that's what we got. And now we have more stuff. And we have server lag. And let's take a quick view of Maltic before we leave. Because I bet this, sir, this has been going on longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> because I was like, yeah, I'm going to do stuff. But yeah, as you see, Maltic, very basic. You have your wheat merchant here for your uh, quest if you want to get wheat. Um, like for the f cooking. And then you also have your chickens, which you can get eggs from. It's a lovely little place to be. Um, but other than that, there's just one quest in there, which is over, th which is that guy. 
which involves that. But right now we're too low of a level to do that. So in the next episode, we are going to continue with our daily rewards. Actually, no, what we're going to continue on is we're going to go and help the Mushroom Man. I will see you guys next time. Isn't that right, Zombie? Thank you for agreeing with me. See you guys in the next episode.